right, time to mix drinks and change, um, shoes. I think that's what we do here, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, umimito. Yeah, get out. It's umimito time. I'm gonna change that out for all systems go. And we'll get rid of troubling news for everything will be okay. Drive me wild will become rinini. And umimito, I already have that in there. Uh, those who dwell in shadows. Uh, ready, there we go. Yeah. All right, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Rad Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You stay here. Fine. The door opens and the crowd goes wild when they see Rad! <laughs> Sup, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? <laughs> Honey, some help here. Hey, dog, I heard cats are in the alley. Really? I'll check him out. <laughs> He's gonna check their IDs, just so we're clear here. He's not that kind of dog. He's very open-minded. So do you have a problem with dogs? Wow, you are really bad with dogs, eh? Did I make it too obvious? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John! Hey! I think it's because I just got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or tastes completely at random. I just happen to get stuck with the fear of dogs and chinchillas. And now I want a talking chinchilla in the bar. The list keeps growing. Chinchillas are extinct. Ah! Oh, way to yuck my yum, Jill. Good job. Thank gods. Yes, plural. I mean, yeah, why not? Greek pantheon. Norse pantheon. Any pantheon. Whatever pantheon fits. Ha ha ha! The puns! So, what do you have? No, oh, well, it's that time of the month. Oh, God. I I knew exactly what drink she was going to ask for the moment she said that. Didn't even have to wait for that bottom line to come out. It's like, that time of the month. I'm like, she's going to want a Bleeding Jane. I'll have a Bleeding Jane. Coming right up. I'm a bartender, a detender, whatever. Just... Does that happen? Does she actually have that happen? Did they program that into Lilums? Because that's just weird. I mean, I get it if you're trying to make them, like, vaguely human, that makes sense. But it's like, you don't have to. So why do it? I mean, maybe... I'm, I'm, I'm waxing poetic here, but I mean, like, maybe it's, like, a mechanical function for them that, like, it's like a self cleaning sort of oil change system like it's a monthly purge that just like it like an oil change like they're filtering out the sludge so all of the joints can move it's not unlike how it actually works but i mean <laughs> if people were like cars we'd probably be a lot easier to take care of honestly there's a thought for the future people they're like cars oh man every one of those burps where it comes back on you Mine tasted like coffee. Not the worst thing in the world, but very unexpected. Oh, is there any coffee left? Aw, uh, cup's empty. Oh, well. That time of the month. Do little... Oh, God, thank you. Yes, this is the burning question I've wanted asked. Come on, tell me. T -t tell me. <laughs> I was right. It's oil. <laughs> oh, God. Prove me right. Come on. G just confirm my theory. Oh, you... Mm. You, 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 you had me going. I was so sure I was on to something there. No, silly, we don't. There are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. But what time of the month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a bleeding Jane. So, how's business? No, I don't need to know that. You'd be surprised how many people get struck by holiday depression and need some Dorothy in their lives. Yes, I think around the Christmas season when the lights are twinkling, the snow's fallen, and the tree is set up maybe in a loft apartment window where you can see it from the street side and at the same time as you're struck by the spirit of the season, you're overcome by the loneliness knowing that it's going to be another December 24th alone. But lo, what's that in the corner? A red-haired glimpse of hope. Something to bring shining happiness in a world of darkness. Yes, it's Dorothy. The Lilum that acts like a child because it's good for business. 
Did I ruin the image for you? Good. Although it's the season with the most competition. I, what, how? I didn't even, yeah, I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do, both humans and Lilum. Oh, man. I really hope you mean in the broadest sense of your job. Of course I do, both humans and Lilum. Half of them got a sexy Santa dress, and that's not fair. They were, they were sold out. I wanted one, too. Or one off of... Oh, no, they were all sold out. You're telling me there was not one. Not one online store that could have given you one? Because I don't believe you. I don't believe that at all. Wear Nano Camo. You could look like it and not even have to buy the clothes. That's how that stuff works, right? Maybe it's better that way. How so? Well, the other girls like to dress in skippy clothes and show lots of skin. That scares off lots of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is just to dress normally. And that's considered normal. Really? I'm... I'm surprised. If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. No need to hide me until reaching the room. Okay, I get it. So it's like you both know what the transaction is, but you looking normal lets them at least go about things under the illusion that you're just an acquaintance, whereas if you look like somebody that was advertising sex, there's there's nothing else to fall back on. It's not like they could stop on the way home and get groceries and just be like, yes, it's me and my wife, and who is not a prostitute. I got you. Makes sense. Hell, some even invite me to a dinner or a movie before anything else. Well, that's kind of cool. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get the clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, can you blame them? And, and how can you tell me there's not some sort of advertising system in this future that, like, projects some sort of, like, pop-up ad in their vision? Like, Minority Report. You remember that? Like, the machines would scan Tom Cruise's eye, and then an advertisement would pop up like, Hello, Mr. Cruise. You look hungry. Would you like some Pop-Tarts? And it was like, it's like you were getting spammed every time you went out in public, or at least when he was going through the mall. You're telling me you don't have something like that? Like, you could just, like, broadcast to them and just be like... Maybe something they can see, like, this is a bad example, but I'm thinking like Death Note, where like, you know, at some people with the eyes could see numbers over people's heads. Oh, what if instead of that, you could see like a little bio information over someone's head, like, you know, prostitute, mime, supernatural clown. You'd know what you were dealing with the moment you saw them. There's a useful innovation, not just for Valhalla. I mean, in general, if there is ever an, inv an innovative, blah, 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 yes, and an innovation, which not only blah blah blahs, but also is like a contact lens that lets you see that sort of thing. I'd try it out. That'd be very convenient. Save you... You know what? Forget predicting the future. Let's deal with the one in front of us. Today. Haha. <laughs> and the first time they see me after, I, after a call, they think I'm just making a prank or something. Huh. Never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans or do you serve Lilum too? Ooh, good question. Humans only. But I do have an at least 40% organic policy. Oh, okay. 40%? Human from the neck up. Dicks preferably organic, but I can make exceptions. Dorothy, my dear, you never cease to surprise me. And of course, they've got augmented dicks. Why wouldn't they? It's like the first thing we'd do. Females are not so strict, though. Huh. Why? Do you know someone that might be interested? Nope, just curious. Well, your curiosity left me thirsty. Give me a blue fairy. A big one, would you? Yep, gotcha. A blue fairy. Because one day she wants to be a real girl, and then it becomes a crime. <laughs> ah, jeez. Although that does raise a question that I now have. Can you transfer a Lilum sort of... AI consciousness into an organic body? Like, I'm, I'm referencing all kinds of things today, like a la, say, um, altered carbon, but instead of like, no, actually, that was kind of the same thing, because it was a chip on the spine that you then just sort of swapped over and transferred the data sort of like cloud style into another body. As long as that chip was alive, you could just pass it around. Yeah, do it that way. I'm sure something like that exists, or if it's not, it soon will. In the ever-expanding world of Valhalla, or at least the way I imagine it. Okay, so she wants it doubled. Aged. Alright, so we need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
two of these, right? Yeah. Uh, wait. Yeah, okay. And then we load it up with as much of this stuff as we can. Doubling up the drink. I guess that's all we can do. All right. Boom. It's a big blue fairy. It's not a blue fairy. It's a blue dragonfly. <clears throat> Here you go. I wonder if anyone has seen fairies after a couple of these. No, 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 no. That's the absinthe, which we also have if you're interested. Yeah, some guy tested that by drinking as many as he could. He thought he saw one, but he was dizzy and what he saw made him puke. Or what he had seen was his puke. Oh. You know, earlier today there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. What about it? Ah, that I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving drinks to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's a mega Santa prank. I'm gonna change... Now, you know what? You have my undivided attention. Hold on. Hold on. There, TV's off. And go. <laughs> it's a prank I pull every year. Oh, classic Dorothy and her Yuletide shenanigans. First, I pick them all. Wait for a day with lots of people. All right, all right, I'm following you. Then I go to Santa's lap. When he asks what I want... Let's play, let's play guess what Dorothy says next. A, does she ask for a pony? B, does she ask for world peace? C, does she ask for Santa's dick? Or secret option number four, AKA D, all of the above. Let's find out. I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, Oh, uh, here comes the build-up. She's winding up. Form looks good. She cracks back the bat, rotates the shoulder, crunches her abs. The core's ready to let loose a flurry from the hickory. And I want you to make me a woman. Oh, it was C. Who would have thought? Who would have guessed? One of you? That's it? My God, what innocent minds we all have. Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little one wants to be human. It's then that I say, no, I want you. Yeah. <laughs> After that, I say, well, at the least, very least, I want a dildo, a pink one, or a very bumpy cucumber. This is why we can't have nice things. You literally ruin... Your Christmas tradition is ruining Christmas. Oh my god, Dorothy, you're Scrooge in a miniskirt, and there's something I wasn't even thinking about until now. Thanks for that. You've ruined Christmas for me, too. Good job. Double dose. Extra. Didn't ask for it, but hey, good things come in small packages. And then they ask to... You know what, I'm not even gonna... Just move on. Stop ruining things. Sometimes I spice it up. Instead of cucumbers, I ask for a pony. Oh my god. I'm a savant. I keep calling these things. I mean, one of the answers I said was a pony. I mean, it wasn't hard to guess what she actually was going to ask for. It was a prank, and it's... Meh, but, no. Nah. And a crane to lift him. Why? I once thought about screaming, Help, I'm being molested. <laughs> Jesus. But I remembered it was a prank. I don't want to ruin the guy's life. No, you just want to ruin his day and everyone else around. Oh, thank God you show restraint, though. How considerate. Although I did get a client that way, he became a regular soon after. What do you mean you got him that way? By yelling out that or by pulling the Christmas prank on him? You, 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 I need context. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Yeah, they should have wanted posters or like, do not let this person in right outside the mall during the Christmas season. So they're just like, all right, everyone, gather round, gather round. You know here at Sherwood's Mall, we like to have a good time with the elves and Santa and taking pictures for all the children to make a good Christmas season. Although I must warn you, there is this one person that we can't let in. If you see her, send her away. Or pay her off. I don't care which, but we don't want a repeat of the Christmas of 2023. Oh yeah, how old are you? Old enough for anything you want. That is very nondescript. Yeah, yeah, again. Context. Numbers. Details, woman. He really asking a girl her age that way? Okay. Well, tell me your age first. 27. No fair. You didn't get fidgety or anything. <laughs> Why would I? 
I'm not pranking mall Santas with fake requests for bumpy produce. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between... I know that. I know that. But my last checkup said my mental age was 24. I guess that's really the only way they can judge you, isn't it? You're an AI. I mean, like, you could literally get a new model every year, but it's the mind. Oh, frig. The philosophical, like, boondoggling that's going on here in the future is just wild. Like, is there an age of consent for AIs? That's probably... I've asked a question. In all likelihood, it's going to get answered. You know how this works. So how long since you've been deployed? <laughs> More like inflicted. I wouldn't say deployed. That's a secret I'll keep with me. What, like her model? Or, wait, mental age is 24, so that's not her actual age. I'm confused. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? How dangerous everything's been lately. Every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. No, I will. It's mine. Neither one of you can have it. I win. Besides, you've already got your whole frickin' Lolita niche market thing going on, so you stick with that. Feel free to do so. You want anything else? Let's see. Ooh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I tried one of those. All right. Stop thinking about that. Don't let me in on the joke, Jill. Wait, Cobalt. Cobalt. I almost forgot the name of it. Um, it's on the rocks. With two of these red doodads, three of the green Wallamaloos, and only five blue Witcher digits. All right, then. Mix. Plop. Boom. Have your cocked over drink in a sideways glass and realize you've overpaid. But, I mean, I need the money for rent, so bring them on, bring them on, bring them on. Cobalt Velvet. And TV's back on now. Cool! Yes, it is. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I mean, I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Hey, honey, have you ever seen a Mega Santa get... What the hell happened? Oh, wait, no, I think I loaded up one of her drinks, so maybe this was the tipping point. Mm -mm. Have you ever seen a Mega Santa gangbang? I can't say I have, Dorothy. I can't say I have. That Mega Santa that became... <laughs> oh, no! No! You're not pure by any means, but god damn it, woman. You friggin... Santa and his helpers. God damn. He once invited like eight of his friends. They're drunk. Go home. Game bays are funny because with that many guys, no one knows what to do. They think about using you too, but they don't want to touch the other guys. Well, you should have thought about that before getting naked in front of other guys. Eight, and in the end, only two got in, got into it while the others left. Even my regular- Wow! That is a failure. That is like, okay, we've got a plan. Execute. And like, ab aborted the mission immediately. I don't regret asking this, but were all the other guys? Yep, they were. You know what? I'm starting to think this isn't a holiday prank. You're just advertising. You are going to the client. You are acting. You're hustling. You're hustling. Dorothy, you know what? That's what she is. She is the symbol of hustle. D knows how to, <laughs> no pun intended, Work the grind. She knows exactly what it takes. Sweat equity in every sense of the word. Unfortunately. Of course they were. I've been in many, but I still don't get the charm of gangbangs. Orgies I can see, though. Well, either remembering that got me turned on or the alcohol's kicking in. I, it's probably both. Get out. And, yeah, Gil, get a mop and just... I, I have a feeling that we need to, like, clean up the stool or something. There you go. It's called... Is that a euphemism? I think that's what that is. I think I just euphemismed. I might have. That girl has seen some shit. Literally. Now I can't see Mega Sans with the same eyes. But I don't want to. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? I forgot about it. I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? Good idea. This is not fair. What the hell is this? 
I got a pissed off. I'm sorry, honey. Um, you've wandered into the neon cyberpunk district. I think you're supposed to be down in the rom-com slice of life one. It's, it's like two doors down, so keep going. Why, why give me that non-plus look? God, another kid. Myth. <laughs> Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school. Why? Why would that ever happen? I blame the dog. I'm gonna blame the dog. Oh, gods, maybe Alma was right. Right about what? Well, the other day I was asking her opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission hack thing. And at some point she talked about hacking becoming a fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. Did Alma send them? And today there have been like two kids already. Miff. Speak English. How would bartending become a fad? Yeah, maybe a cartoon? Oh, are we breaking the fourth wall now? Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. Yeah, but I mean, I'm thinking way back in my mind to the wee days of childhood in an episode of Rugrats when it was kind of like a, a Wild West-themed episode. And there was no alcohol per se, but they went into what I think was like the... Uh, the park's sand pit area and they go into like the play structure but in their imaginations it's like an old timey saloon and the finger quotes bartender is serving them apple juice yeah it wasn't alcohol but y what are you mimicking a uh, saloon true not true Mip. speak holy crap use your words now you know what you don't get to use your words you get to sit there until next time when we find out if she can actually talk or maybe she's just a very glary mute Whatever the case may be, we'll find out what this mystery's all up to next time. And until then, my name's Rye. You guys take care of yourselves.